have to say to Facebook users who are finding out today that their data has been harvested. There's no way to fix the privacy settings for this. A reluctant Mark Zuckerberg, now in the full glare of the camera lights, centre stage for his congressional grilling. How are you going to restore it's trust? a measure of the scale of the crisis now facing the tech giant he helms that he's here at all. But in a few short weeks, he's had to move from denial to damage control. Why did you say there are only 270,000 people affected in the beginning, Mr Zuckerberg? Three weeks ago, it was revealed that Cambridge Analytica had obtained the data from some 50 million Facebook profiles via a personality quiz app. At the time, Facebook responded, saying the profiles of 270,000 users and their friends were affected. But last week, we discovered just how many friends when they admitted that 87 million people may have had their data shared, including an estimated 1 million Brits and that a further 2.2 billion users may have had their publicly available Facebook data scraped through their phone numbers and email addresses. Mr Zuckerberg, don't your 2.2 billion users deserve some kind of an explanation, sir? There will be pressure on the Facebook boss from Senate committee members today to draw a line, to reveal whether there were other Cambridge Analyticas, to tell the whole truth of how many users might have been affected and to describe, finally, how it was that they opened the door to Cambridge Analytica to access a tranche of personal data on such a massive scale. Early indications from Senator Bill Nelson, the senior Democrat on the Commerce Committee, who met with Mark Zuckerberg yesterday, is that mere contrition won't do. He said they were lied to by Cambridge Analytica. Well, you can't protect our privacy just on the basis of somebody telling you that they're going to protect it. So does that mean law? Yes. Does that mean regulation? Yes. Three weeks after the revelations of former CA consultant Christopher Wiley on this program and in The Observer and New York Times newspapers, Facebook has begun to notify users whose information CA might have obtained without their knowledge. It's done Facebook style with a page that flips up to welcome you as you log on to your account. Even as they begin the formidable task of chasing the data, we now have a clearer sense of how Cambridge Analytica worked in multiple US elections. As late as 2015, it was pitching its so-called unique social media data to multiple Republican election campaigns, which begs the question, what data? CA insists it wasn't from Facebook. It now says together with a different company called Sint, they generated new data sets from a survey of over 40,000 users with their consent. In previously unseen CA documents from that year, they pitched their services. They say that they use unique behavioural data to create psychographic profiles and message concepts, that they can utilise vast amounts of social media data and overlay with voting records to enrich individual voter files. And they boast about their previous work assisting Republican candidate Tom Tillis in North Carolina during the 2014 midterms. It says we produce clusters of voters based on the model data to maximise campaign impact, which enable the creation of tailored messages directed to specific voter groups. Tailored messages delivered straight to your Facebook feed to persuade you personally, based on your psychographic profiling, that the Republican candidate was your only choice. It's something George Orwell might only have imagined, but Cambridge Analytica rendered it real in North Carolina. Here's how. North Carolina deserves a better senator than... If you were judged to be agreeable, you saw this version of now National Security Advisor John Bolton appealing for you to vote for Tom Tillis. Please join me in supporting Tom Tillis. And if you were judged to be neurotic, well, the message was downright dystopian. Same candidate, same state, different Facebook user. Knowing what you know now, would you use Cambridge Analytica again? I don't know. I have to, like I said, I'm getting to the facts. Knowing Could what you've you heard about what they've done with other campaigns? I don't act on what I've heard about. I, I act on facts. Tom Tillis team, won uh, that North Carolina race uh, and is now well, in the Senate. Part, not only uh, that, he's on the uh, Senate uh, committee interrogating Mark in, uh, Zuckerberg uh, today. And, the, and, and just a few seats down. along, Ted Cruz, another senator who hired Cambridge Analytica.
Do you regret ever dealing with Cambridge Analytica, Mr Zuckerberg? CA continues to deny any wrongdoing. Throughout, Facebook has been at pains to distance itself, painting them as a rogue data analytics firm. But their people worked side by side in a small office in San Antonio on the Trump campaign in 2016. Here's Trump campaign digital boss Brad Pascal explaining Facebook's role. I asked each one of them by email, I want to know every single secret button, click, technology you have. I want to know everything you would tell Hillary's campaign plus some. And I want your people here to sh teach me how to use it. Inside? Yeah, I want them sitting right how next do you to know us. They Even as Facebook staff were seated right no next to Team Trump, seated in the next office was the top team from Cambridge Analytica. CA says none of their ill-gotten Facebook data was used on that campaign. But the question is, did Facebook ever ask? After all, they knew the company had accessed the data back in 2014 and in 2015 asked them to delete it. Even as Cambridge Analytica pitched so-called unique social media data to American politicians. Mr Zuckerberg, shouldn't someone resign over this? Mark Zuckerberg says he's the boss, he bears responsibility. But as one senator has described it, the apology tour is over. This afternoon he needs not only to show he can atone for mistakes months or years later, but that his company will intervene to protect users' privacy before it can be abused in the first place.